You can see my main right there, Iroha. Iroha is my main. And you have Haomaru. If you've played Soul Calibur, you've seen him. If you've played uh, Capcom vs. SNK2, you've seen him. If you've played other Samurai Showdown games, you've definitely seen him. Um, yeah, King of Fighters 14. Or no, he's going to be in King of Fighters 15, actually. But no, he wasn't in King of Fighters. Uh, Nakaru, King of Fighters 14 and King of Fighters 15. And Cap Capcom vs. SNK2 and shit. Uh, she's also pretty famous in fighting games shit. Like, and then we have this guy. He's he's new. He's He has this whole like raven shtick, like the bird. Uh, his hair turns black. Like, that's his super saiyan. And then you got this dude who's supposed to be like a... Like a... Like a Central American, like... Latin American, Central American, um, native warrior. And then you got Jubei, who's just an old sensei type. You got Kyoshiro, who's like your Kabuki fighter dude. Uh, Ukio, who's like that dude that, like, I don't know if you played Grand Blue. I don't know if you know the character Narmaya or if you know the Johnny of Johnny from Guilty Gear, the dude with the, the Johnny Bravo hat and the Bushido blade shit. That's basically what he does, where he like keeps it in his hilt and then he just like sw slices you quick. Uh, but his whole shtick is that he's dying. So you see him cough, cough up blood and shit on his own. You got this ninja. You got this ninja. You got basically Chip. This is basically Chip, like literally just Chip. Then you got who Chip actually, who Chip wants to be, uh, Hanzo. <laughs> yeah, you got you got Chip, Chip, and then what Chip wants to be. And then Genjiro is a Rekka character. Uh, a Rekka is like a special that after the special, you can keep the special going by doing another special. And then uh, that can only happen after that first special and then like so on and so forth. And it depends on like uh, his, I think it's like up to three strikes. Uh, Earthquake is just your resident big fat motherfucker. Fuck this dude. I'm just kidding. Uh, Shiki. I don't know too much about Shiki. She just moves really quick and she has some disappearing shit. Yoshitora has seven fucking swords. Swords. Uh, and he uses all of them. Uh, Charlotte is your fencer, rapier kind of shit. Your knight. Uh, Darley Dagger is a new character. Uh, to the series, she's gonna be in King of Fighters 15 also, uh, with Haomaru and Darley. Those are gonna be the three characters to pop go in next into King of Fighters 15. Um, there, uh, she's a pirate. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say Monster Hunter ass bitch, but uh, nah, that would be incorrect. Uh, cause I was thinking of the Monster Hunter ass sword, <laughs> but nah, she, she a pirate. Uh, and then we got Wu Ru Zhang. I don't know how to say her name correctly. I apologize. Wu Ru Ru Zhang. Ru Zhang. Um, basically, she's Mei from Overwatch, but clumsy. And she fights with like shields. And then you have all your DLC. Oh, there's Biken, by the way. If you didn't believe me, Biken is literally right fucking there. We got Warden from For Honor, too, by the way. Um, we got Go Sung Lee, which I don't know too much about her, but she has this umbrella. Uh, Cham Cham, which is related to Tam Tam, and I don't know what her shtick is. The Boomerang, I think. Hibiki is actually from another SNK game called, uh, is it The Last Warrior? The Last Samurai. Some shit like that. Last something. Um, Shiro Tokisada, uh, he's, he was a former boss character. He basically shoots, like, big orbs at you. Iroha is, uh, you're double jumping. She she's the only character that can she has an air hop, so she can hop twice. She can't dash, but she does do these very fast hop steps. She has the big spinny moves. So if like Anji, like Rashid, like Mai from KOF, like shit like that. So I you see like Iroha kind of fits that archetype for me. Uh, Sogetsu basically a water bender. Uh, Mina your archer. You can tell she got shot in the eye. Uh, Shizumaru is kind of like um, Kurapika, like Kurapika, where he's like he tries to play like calm, collected, but he has this very dark side to him. Uh, Wanfu, I don't know too much about him other maybe than he just has this giant fucking pillar that he carries. And then Kazuki is a firebender, but he has. Uh, you a fighting game guru, my guy? You know all of them. I'm just telling you my best description of all of them, dog. Uh, Kazuki Kazuma is a firebender. He's hot-headed. That's why he has the hair, but his fire his moves look fly as fuck. Basara has this kind of like chain 
scythe sickle thing that he sicks on you and it has this arc trajectory so that's a lot of spinny shit too so if he wasn't so overtly edgy i'd probably be playing him and rimururu is your ice bender and she basically sets up traps for everybody i'm telling you once you play a game enough times you get to kind of get an idea of what everybody's game plan is 